Hey there everyone, welcome to Technoholic. In this video, we will be talking about how we can set up a SharePoint website. A SharePoint website is an online platform or we can say it's an intra-company platform where we can collaborate with our other team members. We can uh, create a website and it could be of, uh, you know, uh, it's kind of informational or it can also be a collaboration website. So without ado, let's get started how we can set up a SharePoint website. So uh, for that, here we can see we have already opened Google Chrome. You can also open Microsoft Edge based on the browser that is available to you or it is just based on your preference. Now um, what we need to do is we need to open office.com. Now uh, we are opening office.com since we are setting up our SharePoint website for the first time. Now here in office.com, what we need to do is uh, we need to look for SharePoint. And guys, if you have uh, Office personal license or Office family license, you may not able to access SharePoint since this is a um, business oriented application, which is meant to collaborate and keep the data centralized, especially uh, you know common files such as office or word documents and many more so here we can see we are already in our office.com online dashboard now what we need to do is we need to click here on this menu button now here you will see this sharepoint option just click on the sharepoint and if you have enough access um, you can create your sharepoint website else what we can do is you can ask your it to set up or to provide a URL for your SharePoint website. Um, your IT team might have only permission to do it. If you are uh, a member of maybe smaller firm, maybe um, there they have already provided you the access, but generally the IT team going to provide you this access. So now let's talk about how you can set up your uh, news post first and then we will be talking about how you can create a collaborative website. So let's do it one by one. So here since I already have access so what actually I can do is I can simply click here on create new post. So let me just click here and now um, here I need to define you know kind of website that I want to create. So is it a communication site? So yes, it is a communication site. So I can define it as a communication. Now here we go guys. Here um, we are defining our website as a communication. So what actually we can do? Um, we can start with a site template. So I can click here on uh, get started. And now from these different different templates, uh, we can choose any one. So um, you can create your own template that later can be accessed by your company uh, employees. And then um, let's say you also have given them access to create their own SharePoint web portal or new site. Then, um, you know, they can they simply need to choose those templates that you have already created. And then with the help of those templates, they can quickly, uh, you know, apply the same template and thereby um, all the people going to follow similar kind of design language. But since here we haven't set it up, so uh, what we can do is we can choose any office template. So for this case, let's say I want to create, um, you know, an informational website. So for that, I think, um, you know, I can choose the second option or maybe I can choose this topic one option. OK, so let me choose this topic website. And now um, I will be clicking here on use template. And actually you can have a preview of the site that what actually the site have. So we can see here uh, what does this site um, have and how it look like. So let me choose uh, this option which is use template. And that's how guys we can apply a template in SharePoint. And voila in just few clicks you can see your SharePoint website is ready. Now let me just uh, click here on share. Or maybe you would like to click here on setting and here the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up a site permission so from here actually you can define um, the kind of permission that you want to set for different different people 
you can also create groups but let's cover that part in um, you know another video so actually you can see a lot of customization in terms of uh, access uh, or the level of access you want to provide uh, to someone you can always click here uh, on um, you know change how member can share and um, you can see host of site permission features available there so right now we don't want to go into that deep but i just gave you a hint where you need to look for the site permission setting then um, here we saw how we can set up a site template and uh, if you want to see uh, the site content then you can always click here on this site content and now you will be reaching to this um, file explorer kind of interface from where actually the whole data are going to be fetched okay so here it looks uh, very similar to what i would say is uh, a onedrive just like onedrive you can create a lot of different things okay you can create your own document library you can create your own page and so on so here we have already created some document library here just like normal onedrive you can create folder and then uh, you can give it a name like uh, you know collaboration space or something like that and then you can um, click on create and that's how guys uh, we can create uh, these files in folder and you know the good thing about this collaborative space that you do not need to install any um, you know common application for example you do not need to install microsoft office uh, to your system despite that you can always open um, you know any office application directly on online okay similar is true with pdf file for example let me quickly find a pdf if i do have in my system and what you actually can do is you can simply upload that pdf here okay so i'm just doing drag and drop i don't know what exactly it is so i just simply picked up random file from my uh, computer and now here we go guys so if i click on this file also i can directly see preview of it so since i am using idm here let me disable idm for a while so that you know i can um have a look how it looks like okay so i just um disable idm and now here let me just refresh it back in and here we go guys here i can see i can directly um have a preview of my pdf file here i have an option to make it uh, bigger or smaller with the help of zoom and then i have an option to you know go to different different pages and then here also there is one more um, top bar from where we can um, play with this file so that's how guys without even you know opening it uh, you can place your all data at center place and then um, same can be accessible in your site and this layout guys is actually completely customizable the only thing you need to do is you need to click here on um, edit and then um, after clicking on edit uh, what we can do is um, here you will have a lot of things with you can play with which you can customize for example let's say I do not want this event list I can always delete it okay and the part or the component are known as web part here okay so let's say i want to add some uh, cool images here so i can always click here and then i can um, you know i can add image gallery uh, here or maybe let's say particular image here so as you can see here we have just created this website so i do not have any image so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to pick up an image from my computer and let me quickly drop it here. So I will be clicking here on upload and now um, let me just yes use this thumbnail and now let me click here on add image. So that's how guys we can add image here and then here you have also have an option to aligning this image left right you also have an option to crop it and then you also have an option to resize it okay. So based on your need you can uh, perform all these settings now let's try to do something else um, here let me add one more web component or web part let's say I want to keep a space so you can add spacer here 
it is um, if you ever have worked with WordPress it is somehow or you know very much resemble from modern WordPress because it also have a block kind of interface so here we have different different option let's say um, I also want to have a document library here the common document that I would like to share with my whole team so I can add the document library here and then from here I can actually choose the folder that I want and that's how guys we can you know um, add document library so based on our need um, you know this site actually I wanted to create like a communication website so here on the top um, we can post some article and can publish it then here we have got this news which is again um, similar to the above article then here we have pasted this image then here we have document library then here we have quick link so just click on this edit so let's say you want to change the way this quick link looks so you can always click on this edit web part and can see the kind of customization is available with it okay and uh, let's say you want to edit this one so you always have option to choose any okay and that's how guys we can customize the SharePoint website now after we made all the customization okay let me show you one more thing actually so let's say this time I would like to create a two column layout so you can always do that by clicking here on layout option so here we go here what we did is uh, I have created two columns okay like this now what I can do actually is I can um, keep this thing here keep this thing here as well and like that so that's how guys we can easily customize it okay we can also make it collapsible so you can always you know create a section and make it collapsible so let me just uh, make it un undo it because I want it uh, to be like this and now I will click on repurpose so that's how guys um, we can customize this and let's say I want to edit this article I can always click on it and now um, you know just click again on it and that's how guys we can um, you know uh, create this beautiful headers and here we have got this complete customization available let's say you want to give your title some other name welcome to XYZ corporation like this and then you can provide the link of complete um, article so this was a very brief and very quick tour of um, of SharePoint like how we can create it and uh, how we can set up a site permission and then we saw web parts so I am um, you know pretty sure that uh, this will give you a great understanding although this is not a complete tutorial but I hope guys you got a good insight of how uh, we can do some of basic things in Microsoft SharePoint so that's all guys from my side in this quick video I hope you enjoyed it if you want me to cover any particular case or settings then please do let me know in comment down below and I will try to respond to you as soon as possible till then take care and bye bye